sent to me from ebonyline.com. So of course y'all know I have to give them a huge shout out for sending me this wig. Thank you very much. It is highly appreciated. So let's get into what this one is all about. This one is from Bobby Ball. She is called Marcia. She is from the Truly Me collection. She does have some baby hairs ready to wear. So this should be a plop and go. Y'all know how I love my plop and goes. I'm very lazy when it comes to wearing wigs. So yes, this should be a good one. This is a middle part wig. It says effortless style y'all. Hand tied lace part. The color I have is FS4 slash 2730. So let's see what she is looking like. And this is what the color is looking like. Really, really pretty y'all. Definitely loving the way it feels. She feels very soft. We do have that one comb in the back with the two adjustable draw straps and the two combs in the front. So what she is looking like straight on my head, obviously nothing done to her. First impression y'all, I can tell she is not going to be big hair friendly. I have an average size head, 22 inches and y'all she is pretty snug. So my big head people might be a little mad at this one. That's just my opinion. I asked one of my big head friends who I know who have a big head what her what her opinion is because I think she will agree y'all but anyway the way um she is looking and feeling I think I am gonna like her let me give y'all a close-up of what the parting space looks like the parting space looks pretty good she is a little narrow but I think once I put the powder in it will be fine as for the ear to ear situation she's about ear to ear on me a little bit of my edges is peeping out but not too bad. what Bobby Boss claim plop and go she is a plop and go y'all definitely loving that about the wig I really do y'all know I'm lazy so definitely a pro for me basically I just put it on laid the baby hairs y'all saw what I did it was very 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 simple so I am a fan of the plop and go y'all as for the style I do really like the style it's just a middle part wig very simple with some loose curls so I mean I like a middle part, but if you don't like a middle part, this one may not be for you because you cannot shift this wig at all. She's stationary. The ear tabs would definitely bother you, so no shifting on this one, which is a con, but I mean, basically you're getting the middle part. But um, as, for, as for the part, I do like the part, like I said. Um, as for the lace, the lace blends in perfectly with my skin tone. I didn't even have to add any powder foundation or nothing to make it blend in. So if you are my skin tone, okay, you, you are going to be good with the, the lace color. So um, I did tell y'all earlier, she is an ear to ear. So in my opinion, it doesn't really matter because of the style of the wig. As long as you lay your little edges down, if you want to be safe, you should be fine. Um, just in case the wind blow. We don't want to be clocked. So yeah, so... Um, I think that's really good about this wig also. Baby hairs were on the thin side, so way to go Bobby Boss, you're doing so much better with the baby hairs. As for the cons of this wig, I have been running my fingers through it and I haven't gotten like an abundant amount of shedding, but she is gonna shed y'all because I've gotten a fair amount. So moderately, she is a shedder and as for tangles, I did get some snags. I think she is going to tangle a bit on us y'all. So far, as of now, I'm not getting stuck at all. I am going to end this video. Please like, subscribe, and do not forget to comment. I want to have a conversation. Let's talk. I will see y'all in my next video.